So, example two. Now, balance this equation. SnO2 plus H2 gives you Sn plus H2O. Okay? So first we put it in general form. So we just write A, B, C, and D in front of each of the chemicals. Okay? Very simple first step. So this is sort of the most complex metal, or complex um, element, or sorry, complex compound. So we set A to be one, okay? Now, alternatively, we could set this one to be one, because uh, it's the pure metal. So, but the result is the same. So let's just set this one to be one, just for, just because it's on the left-hand side, and we'll, we'll work left to right. So this is one, or A is one. So we balance the SN metal first, so the, the tin metal. So if we have A numbers of A numbers of SN on this side, we need and we have C numbers on of SN on this side, we need to know that A equals C, right? So therefore C also equals one, because we know A equals one. We balance oxygen next. There are two oxygens on the right hand side on the left hand side. There's one on the right, well, there's D on the right hand side. So 2A on the left hand side, there's D on the right hand side. So to make sure that they balance, we need to say that 2A has to equal D. Okay? And we know that A is 1, so D must be 2. Okay? We balance for hydrogen. There are 2B on the left hand side, and there are 2D on the right hand side. So we know that B equals D if we just cancel the twos. So B equals two. So B equals two as well. Then we just substitute back into the original equation. A equals one, as you can see. B equals two, you can see that. C equals one. And D equals two. Okay? And that is how we balance equations, okay?